It's Monday and I want to inspire you to make an easy recipe that tastes just like chiles rellenos, but it's much easier to make. Now let's get started by preparing our sauce. Over the weekend, I was able to meal prep a few ingredients that I'm going to need for this week. I roasted some tomatoes, poblanos, and I sauteed the onion with two garlics. To your blender, you're going to add three tomatoes, one medium onion and two garlic cloves, a little pinch of Mexican oregano, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, and I like to enhance the flavor of this broth by adding one eight ounce can of tomato sauce and two and a half cups of water. And now you're gonna blend until smooth. And boom, done. Place your burner on a medium heat and drizzle a little bit of oil. Next, you're gonna start straining your blended ingredients. You wanna make sure to strain your blended ingredients because that's gonna make for a delicious sauce. Once you fully combine your ingredients, you're gonna place your burner on a medium low heat, more on the low side, and you're gonna to continue to cook until we're ready to serve. And I just use a small little bunch of cilantro to add a little bit more flavor to our sauce. Now that you prepped your sauce, we're gonna start slicing three poblano peppers. And you just wanna slice them into smaller little squares. In this bowl, I have one cup of Chihuahua cheese. You can use mozzarella or any kind of melty cheese that you have access to. Then you're gonna add your poblano peppers into your bowl and you're gonna sprinkle about one to two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and make sure everything gets coated. This little step right here is gonna allow all our ingredients to stick closely to our batter. Before you start separating your eggs, you wanna make sure that your eggs are room temperature. And if you've tried making chiles rellenos before and you have a difficult time keeping your peaks, that's okay, you can add half a tablespoon of cream of tartar to your egg whites and I'll show you where to add it. And today, you know what? Um, I usually don't have a difficult time, but I'm gonna add it just so that you guys know when to use this. You wanna make sure that you get no egg yolks in your egg whites. This is the part where you wanna add half a tablespoon of cream of tartar your egg whites, add your whisk attachment, lock it. We're gonna start at a low pace and then we're gonna start picking up the speed. Give or take after two minutes, you have some beautiful peaks and we're ready to start combining our ingredients. And I'm just gonna transfer our beautiful egg whites into another bowl. Mix your egg yolks just a little bit before you start adding them slowly as we fold. She reminded me of Carlos Sainz making his pancakes. <laughs> Delicious. And this tip that I'm about to show you right now was passed down to me by the lovely ladies of my family. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour and I'm gonna fold it in. Sometimes when you get chiles rellenos or these little beautiful uh, cakes, what happens is that they end up tasting more like oil than the egg batter itself. And by adding a little bit of all-purpose flour, you're gonna transform your little egg batter into something that your family is gonna be requesting you to make often. And that's why we're here. I have to make these again. <laughs> the total amount used is about one-fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. Now you can start sprinkling in your cheese and poblano mixture. Give it a fold. Sprinkle in a little bit more. You can use the same batter for your tuna or shrimp patties as well. Okay, we're ready to start frying our little cake. And these are quickly fried, so you're gonna flip them and be careful. Ooh, nice and fluffy, just like me. And you wanna continue doing the same with the rest of your batter. And it's a custom in our family to add a warm tortilla at the bottom before serving. And I said warm, not crispy. So it's just a quick little, little dip. And the cook time for our sauce was around 15 minutes on a medium low heat. What you do, you place your little patties over your corn tortilla, just like that. You wanna serve with your choice of beans and then you pour your delicious sauce. This is one way I serve for my kids that don't like super um, smothered things. They're selective about what's smothered, but 
You want to serve them just like that. Well, smother me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At my older age, I'd rather have it smothered. But for the kids, you want to serve it just like this. And then send it off. And if you have family that prefers a more traditional style, you can just place your little cakes inside the broth. Smother them with a lot of love because sometimes when you have a bad Monday, you need something really good to eat. But well, we're having a good Monday. I'm having a really good Monday, but sometimes Mondays you're not ready to say goodbye <laughs> to the weekend. So you just start placing it in there. You know, and it's your job to bring some of that loving feeling to your family. I said feeling instead of feeling. <laughs> Both are equally as good. <laughs> and boom, done. Who's ready for a bite? I'm going to need somebody very special to say, uh, as always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And let us know in the comments if you think it's difficult to make chiles rellenos. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Mmm. Oh, that does taste like a chile relleno. It does? Mm-hmm. Did you know that the first time I made chile rellenos, because this is a recipe that I like somebody to make it for me, mm -hmm. was on a mukbang and... That I used to do in my room. Oh, that's that was the first time I made the chiles rellenos because they had started asking me to make recipes since then. Mm -hmm. Like, let me just make it mukbang style. Yeah, it's so good. It's such a childhood mm. comfort. Oh wow, so good. Yeah, definitely roasted tomatoes on the grill mm -hmm. make a huge difference. And roasted tomatoes. Mmm. For those of you that have made chiles rellenos, when was the first time that you ever made chiles rellenos? It's an intimidating recipe, but it's actually pretty simple. And we all end up doing it for love. Mm -hmm. And it's usually for a man. <laughs> <laughs> Except today. Except today. I did it for two sweet boys. Mm. I want to eat like 10 of them. They're so light.